Gil Troy graduated magna cum laude from Harvard, teaches at McGill University in Montreal, and has an impressive list of publications. His book, Why I'm a Zionist, Israel, Jewish Identity, and the Challenges of Today, has been hailed as a must read and the most persuasive presentation of the Zionist case in decades. Since it was on our suggested reading list, I don't have to tell you how great it was. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Gil Troy. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, John, for that kind introduction, but you missed one very important part of my resume. I'm a young Judean. And, and I'm a Eurocourse grad. And I have to apologize just for a moment. I don't want to talk to you a lot, but I just want to talk to you, Marlene. In the 1980s, when it was hard to find a grown-up who understood us, when it was hard to find someone who understood what we were doing as young Judeans and to tell Yehuda, you were there. And in the 1990s, when they got this crazy idea to bring thousands of young people to Israel as a gift from one generation to the next, I knew it would succeed because you were there at the start of Birthright. But what makes you so extraordinary is the first time I ever met you, someone pulled me aside and said, you know who that is? That's the angel of mercy. I said, what does that mean, the angel of mercy? He said, this woman takes the most disfigured, the most crippled Israeli soldiers and brings them from Israel to New York, makes sure they get the best medical treatment, but most important of all, this beautiful woman gives some of her beauty to them, and they both end up even more beautiful. So Marlene, thank you for being an angel of mercy. Thank you for being an inspiration. And thank you for being a role model to men and women. Adam, where are you, Adam? If I keep on talking, can we make the buses not come and the airplanes not go off? I'll be short. <laughs> No, I said long. I'm getting that prolong. It never happens to me. Everybody's saying, get off. I, I take it you had a good year. Did you have a great year? Did you have lots of fun? Did you, as Grandma Gerson would have said, make nice friends? I don't care. What I care about, and you can't answer that question now, is was this year a success? And you're only going to know that five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, as you create the portrait of your life, as you become who you're going to be, as you make values choices. Too many years ago already, I was invited to my 25th year course reunion <laughs> at this beautiful spot on the Delaware River near this small little town called Barryville, New York. And at Camp, at Camp Tell Yehuda, where I spent 15 magical summers, at Camp Tell Yehuda, you could see a huge divide in the year course returnees who had gathered. It wasn't those who had been young Judeans and had not. It wasn't those who'd made successes of their lives. And of course, in Young Judea, the way we define successes is not by the one who ended up on the Forbes 400 billionaire list, although he's part of our year course group. It's not the record executive who was the woof woof in Who Let the Dogs Out, although he's also part of our year course group. It's not the authors, it's not the rabbis. It's all those people, many of whom are your parents, who've made beautiful lives by the values choices they've made. But the great divide you saw that day was between those who saw a year course just as a year in Israel, a fun year, and those who really used it as a launching pad to the future, as a launching pad to a values conversation. And those people who used it as a launching pad built their lives on a holy trinity, on three central ideas. One, friends, these friends, this lot. Unfortunately, two months ago, I ran myself into a serious accident and ended up with major surgery. 
And when I got home, Linda Lovich, from my year course, schlepped back and forth three times from Tel Aviv with food for me. And on Friday night, it was Anita Besden from my year course who came with her family to bring food. Food is very important, as you can see, in the recovery process, <laughs> and be there. And right now, Anita's in China because her son, after surviving four and a half years in the Israeli army, was on his post-year experience, ended up in, unfortunately, a serious car accident, and is now in a hospital in Beijing. And when Anita comes home, who's going to be there to embrace her? Who's going to be there to help her? We. That core group of friends is priceless, is precious, and grows in power year after year, even as we sometimes diminish in strength. That's one part of the foundation. The second part of the foundation, and you know it, we've heard it in the song that Georgie sang, roots, memories, the past. Part of the magic of Jerusalem, part of the magic of Israel is that we're rooted in this place. We have layers of history here. We don't just count in decades, we count in centuries and in millennia. And in order to be who we are, we have to be rooted in something. In this very confusing, me, 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 my, 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 more, 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 now, now, now world of ours, being a part of something bigger, being a part of roots, is so central. And the third piece comes from an idea that Theodor Herzl articulated in Der Judenstadt, the Jewish state. He said, no human being, no human being is wealthy or powerful enough to transplant a nation from one habitation to another to do what he did. An idea alone can achieve that. It's the bucket of ideas. It's the conversation we have about ideas. It's believing that ideas can change lives. That, that you and I can change the world. And that, that if you will, it is not a dream. Memory is about the past. Everybody else was singing, I felt I had to too. Memory is about the past. Friends are about the present. And ideas are about building the future. With those three ideas, with that trinity, I know you will make this year a tremendous success. Todah rabah, b'hatzlacha, and nisiyat tovah.